Hello everyone and welcome! In this lesson we will discover a cool feature in Blender that will allow you to add circular extrusions super fast and very easy. Now before we jump right into this, if you have never been on my channel before, this is the place where we talk about 3D artwork 2D artwork, graphic design, social media, business, and so, so much more. So, if you are in any of those things, what I would like you to do is make sure to drop below the video right now. There are going to be a subscribe button along with a bell icon. If you click on both of those, then I will notify you of any new videos so you don't miss any of them. And then after you subscribe, if you comment on the video saying I have subscribed, I will actually go back through, I will reply back to you and welcome you to the channel because simply I'm just so, so excited that you are here with us today. So let's not waste any more time. Let's say we go ahead and get right to our tutorial. So we have a box here in our 3D view. What we'll try to go ahead and do is create a perfect circular extrusion in our box. We've already seen how to do that manually using the Boolean modifier technique, but this time we'll do it differently using a super cool add-on in Blender. So anyway, if we were under the edit mode or even the object mode, let's go to a file menu and click on this user preferences now in the add-ons tab we'll look under the mesh rollout here for an option called mesh loop tools so this is the option we're gonna need to turn on okay then when you do that you can hit the save user settings button and close out this user preferences window. So now when we go into the edit mode, of course with our cube selected, we have got all these polygons selected, then we will come under the tools tab here from the left hand side and select or scroll until we find this subdivide option. If we click on that, this will add some resolution to our cube, some extra faces. Let's do that one more time and subdivide this again. Okay, now we have that subdivided a couple of times. Very nice. Let's press the period key to center our view around this cube to see it better. So now let's go ahead and deselect everything. Switch to the face selection mode from this button down the bottom here and what we are going to do is select these four faces here let's make sure nothing else was selected accidentally here at the back so that's all cool what we need to do from here now is to do an inset let's go ahead and do that from the tools tab let's press the inset option here or we can press the i key the keyboard shortcut for this insert faces option press the i key and click and drag now if we left mouse click we also have got these guys down here you can sort of use that as well this option here to control the inset but in this case let me undo back and do this again i will press just the i key and click and drag so something like this right that's cool and now what <laughs> well let's make these faces into more of a rounded shape in other words a perfect circle from the tools tab again if you scroll all the way down you will notice a brand new rollout has been added when you have gone ahead and Turn that option on in the preferences. This is the loop tools rollout. There are many options here, but if you select 
this circle option with our four faces selected, of course. And if we select this circle option, Blender will go ahead and reshape the selected faces to more of a circle shape, which is really, really cool. So that's it. With just a click of a button here, we were able to create a perfect circular shape here that we can go ahead, for instance, and extrude out. It's a little bit big right now, so I'm going to go ahead and scroll up to the top and just click on this scale button and drag to scale this down just a little bit. By the way, this is another way to transform objects in Blender from these buttons here. We can translate. If we click on the translate button, we can rotate with the rotate button or we can scale with the scale button. This works pretty much the same as the handles we have here down the bottom here or using the keyboard shortcuts dedicated for that. Okay. Once we have now this scaled down just a little bit, we can go ahead and extrude this out. Again, this is just optional. You can do it if you want to. The important thing for us is transform these faces that were in a rectangular or square shape into this circular shape. Now let's go ahead and extrude these out just to practice doing this. Okay. So let's go ahead into the tools tab, scroll a little bit down until we get to the extrude region and click on that. Or we can press the E key, which is the keyboard shortcut for the extrude region command. And let's click and drag something like this. I'm going to go and do it again, click on the extrude region and then extrude this out and let's do this one more time. Okay. That's cool. Let's now do an inset here. So let's press the inset faces here and do a small amount of that. Click and drag a little bit down there. Okay. Something like this, right? That's all looking good. Let's now go to the modifiers tab. But before we do so, let's make sure to go to the object mode. And let's go to the properties panel and under the modifier tab, let's click the add modifier drop down menu and add a subdivision surface modifier and make the subdivisions two. All right. Great. Let's make it three to get even smoother shapes here. Okay. Typically we can come in if you want to and add some support edges here around the cube to sharpen up some of these rounded corners we have here. That's not necessary. It is just something we can do to practice a little bit more adding those support edges. We know already how to do this. Let's use the loop cut and slide tool. Let's go first to the edit mode of this cube and we can choose the loop cut and slide option from here or press the control R and start adding some support edges here, for example, click and drag here to sharpen up this upper section. Let's do that here as well. We can go in and add another edge loop right about this position. We still need to tighten up this bottom section here. So let's control R and add another edge loop. Let's now do this right over here. Let's add one more edge loop. And here at the back, we can also go in and add another extra edge loop. Now, if we go to the object mode, check this out. We have managed to create this beautiful and round extrusion, super fast and super easy. <laughs> Now let's try this again and practice this process on a sphere object. Okay. So let's go ahead and turn the visibility of this cube off from here. Now let's 
come in here and from the create tab let's bring in a new sphere the uv sphere okay let's undo back i'm gonna first press the shift c to center my 3d cursor and if i click on the uv sphere now the new sphere is gonna be created right at that 3d cursor location or in other words right at the origin of the scene which is really cool in our case okay so now what i will go ahead and do is again go to the edit mode of this object the sphere and i will go ahead and switch to the face selection mode i'm gonna go ahead and select these four faces here for instance and from the tool tab go into scroll a little bit down and choose the inset faces or press the i key and do a small amount of inset click and drag okay so something like this and now with these four faces still selected let's go ahead and come into the tool tab and scroll all the way down until we get to the loop tools rollout and click on this circle option again <laughs> with just a click of a button we were able to create this perfect circular shape here on this sphere object which can be somewhat difficult to achieve if it was the first time to do it and you don't know how to do it until now i have showed you two ways to do it either using that boolean modifier technique that we have used to create the sockets for the head arms and legs of the robot we were working on in this course and now you have this additional awesome technique that you can add to your own toolkit remember to achieve something there are many different roads you can follow and if you know them all well nothing will then stop you okay <laughs> so now that we have this if you want to you can go ahead and for instance extrude these faces in this time so with those faces still selected let's press the e key this time and drag a little bit in let's do that one more time and add another extrusion press the e key to do that and let's do one more extrusion here okay now once we have this result we can press the i key to do a small amount of inset here to sharpen up or add some resolution to make the inside of this hole a little bit sharp and crisp so something like this okay let's now switch to the object mode by hitting the tab key and go to the modifier tab and add a subdivision surface modifier let's bump the subdivisions up to let's say three and check this out <laughs> This looks awesome. We have a perfect circular shape or extrusion here in our sphere, which is something that you most certainly going to need to create in your own models, okay? And in this lesson, you have seen how to do that very easily. And there is a, another lesson in this course that will show you another technique, the boolean modifier technique, that will allow you to do the same trick or the same thing here. But this trick or this technique I have showed you in this lesson is without any doubt is the fastest technique. With just a click of a button, you will get something like this, which is super cool. All right, so that's basically how to make a round extrusion or intrusion in blender we have done that in our sphere and on this cube object so now you have this awesome technique that you can add to your own tool kit now if you have any further questions or suggestions let me know by leaving a comment right down below and if you like this video please do me a favor and hit that like button 
and don't forget to drop below and subscribe and hit the bell notification so that you get notified every time i release a new video also if you find this video useful make sure to share it with your friends all right guys well that's it for today again my name is Anna Sherkowi see you in the next video take care